any moment. Let's go now to our American in Key, Brian Stern from Project Dynamo, who's there to help get Americans out. We've been trying to get you on for the last 10 or 15 minutes, Brian. You were kind enough to join us last night. I know you were just in a crisis meeting that just got out. What can you tell us about what's being discussed there? Uh, uh, I just got out of a meeting regarding uh, cyber activity. I'm actually having a hard time hearing you. So uh, the uh, the cyber threat is real here. I don't know if that's on my end or your end, but things here are uh, are absolutely in in full swing. Uh, the 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 Red Army the Red Army is um, uh, there. The, the sense is that they're coming. If they're not coming now, they're coming real soon. Hmm. So President Zelensky has declared a state of emergency. I hope you can hear me a little bit better now, Brian. Better. How better. has that how has that changed? I guess even the mood or what's happening in the streets of Kiev tonight. Uh, uh, it, it obviously has an impact. The reserves have been called up. Uh, right behind me, over my shoulder here, is the National Police Building. Uh, we've been here for uh, almost a week, and it's been pretty quiet. Now the parking lot is full. Clearly, there's been a recall. Clearly, there's been a mobilization. What I haven't seen is any kind of... Uh, defensive posture, meaning I haven't seen any surface-to-air missiles, I haven't seen sandbags, I haven't seen uh, troop movements even. So uh, right now the city feels on edge, everyone's preparing, but I haven't. I can't say that I've seen a large Ukrainian government response other mm. than people getting called into work. So you haven't seen troops anywhere really around Kyiv then, Ukrainian troops? Not much, not, not much. All right. What else are you seeing as far as everyday life? I'm curious. Are are folks, you know, going to the grocery store to stock up? Is there are the, are the shelves running low? Uh, the shelves seem to be okay, but people are stocking up. People, uh, lots of pe people are leaving. We're we're in the opening hours of of a pretty sizable humanitarian crisis, is what I would say. E even even if Putin does, even if the the Russian army doesn't come here. People are going to start fleeing out of fear in such a way to Romania and Poland, mm -hmm. and those border crossings are going to become be, are going to become pretty saturated, whether he comes or not. So um, we're we're about to we're about to have a very 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 interesting seventy two hours. I would predict. You say people are leaving, Brian. You mentioned a couple of possible locations. Do you get the impression that there's panic there? And I wouldn't call it an exodus, but do you think people are looking for ways to get out? Absolutely. People are definitely leaving. People are getting out of the city at the very least. Uh, I have friends of mine that are in this room with me right now that moved their family. So uh, uh, pe people are taking precautions. People are absolutely taking precautions that they probably didn't consider not 24, 48 hours ago, that now it's become very, very real very quickly. The thing to remember is is that we're we're Kiev is two hours away, give or take, from the Belarus border right. through the Chernobyl forest, which is a forty-minute flight time by a helicopter and gunship, and about a fifteen-minute flight time in a in a fighter plane. So we could be under attack in in minutes if need be. What we haven't talked about is your project, Brian, Project Dynamo, which is uh, aimed at trying to get Americans out of Ukraine. How is that going? And are you seeing an increase in traffic? We're definitely seeing an increase, and thank you for that. Uh, our organization is all about rescuing Americans and our NATO and our NATO partners. We are donor funded. Please give money. This is going to be very expensive. This is going to be pretty terrible. We're all volunteers. Nobody gets paid. I don't get paid. So uh, every dollar goes to saving a life. So please, uh, please contribute projectdynamo.org. If you know Ukrainian Americans or Americans in Ukraine that may need help, go to the website, look for the evacuation button, fill out the form, do it now. Don't wait. When the comms go down and the internet goes down and cell phones go down, if you hadn't already registered, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for me to find you and bring you to safety. Yeah, that's a great point because we have heard that's already happening um, in the eastern provinces that have been declared independent, anyway, by Vladimir Putin. Uh, one other question before we let you go, Brian. The U.S. has been sort of uh, sounding this alarm for a long time. We've talked about the tale of two countries, the reaction in the U.S. to what we see now being called imminent, and the reaction in Ukraine, which has been a little more muted. They've been tapping the brakes. Now you have this declaration that uh, of a, a state of emergency. And then again, as we mentioned just a minute ago, we have reports of uh, the president uh, of Ukraine, there's Zelensky, saying 
that Putin has approved an offensive. Do you get the impression that the tone and the concern has changed there? Absolutely. It definitely has changed. I would I would say that the for the last few weeks, the West has been um, consumed by this to, to some degree and and probably being played a little bit by Putin as far as we've been reacting we've been the west has been reacting to information meaning as an example the us embassy here closed weeks and weeks and weeks ago mm-hmm. there is there the invasion started yesterday uh, by moving and closing that embassy creates more problems not solutions i understand why they did it but i i would argue that was a little premature uh, but but now we're at a point where misinformation disinformation you know, misinformation malign information disinformation propaganda real soon isn't going to matter a whole lot because once the artillery flies, nobody watches TV anymore. Mm. Well, great perspective. Again, two nights in a row from Brian Stern, who's on the ground in Kiev for us with Project Dynamo. Brian, thanks again for the, the uh, very graphic and vivid picture there. Thank you. Please donate. Please donate. We need the help. All right. Take care. We'll talk soon. Thank you.